Smokey Robinson, Motown legend, a silky smooth voice that's delivered countless classics. But behind the soft sounds and dazzling career, is there a hidden pain? What if I told you there's a chapter in Smokey Robinson's life shrouded in heartbreak? Today, we're diving deep to explore the saddest chapter of Smokey Robinson's life at 80. Smokey Robinson, a name synonymous with Motown and timeless melodies, carries a hidden weight. Though audiences erupt joyfully at his concerts, a different reality exists offstage. The spark, his unbridled connection with the crowd, is missing elsewhere. This documentary delves beyond the smooth vocals and iconic images to explore the life of an 80-year-old legend. Prepare to be surprised as Smokey Robinson reveals a side he rarely sees. Born in Detroit's North End, William Robinson Jr., later known as Smokey Robinson, began a remarkable journey spanning eight decades. His family heritage, a blend of African-American, French, Nigerian, Portuguese, and Cherokee backgrounds, hints at the richness that would infuse his music. Smokey's childhood brimmed with potential. His nickname, Smokey Joe, came from his beloved Uncle Claude, who shared a love for cowboy movies and sparked a passion for music in young Smokey. This passion would forever shape his artistic spirit. While excelling academically and athletically at Northern High School, Smokey's musical talent truly blossomed. Drawn to sweet doo-wop melodies, he formed the group The Five Chimes, showcasing a natural artistry. Remarkably, his future musical peer, Aretha Franklin, lived just a stone's throw away on Belmont Street. Smokey's musical influences were deeply rooted in Detroit. Groups like Nolan Strong and the Diablos and Billy Ward and his Dominoes captivated him and stirred his emotions. Another Detroit native, Barrett Strong, would become a crucial mentor, shaping Smokey's vocal skills and impacting his career. In 1955, a Detroit teenager named Smokey Robinson, fueled by musical passion, embarked on a journey that would become legendary. Along with friends Ronald White and Peter Moore, Smokey formed a group called The Miracles. Despite facing personal struggles and community hardships, their unwavering dedication and talent propelled them to unimaginable heights. Smokey's genius shone through his music, a powerful medium that expressed a kaleidoscope of emotions and captured audiences worldwide. Another group, initially known as the Sino Chimes, began their musical odyssey in 1955. This group included Bobby Rogers and his sister, who would later become Smokey Robinson's wife in 1958. The addition of the exceptional guitarist Marv Tarplin further enriched their sound. The group finally evolved into the miracles through name changes. Los Matadores, The Skins, honing their skills in Detroit's vibrant scene and building a devoted fan base. This marked the beginning of a remarkable era in popular music, forever etched in our collective memory. A chance encounter and a lifelong legacy disappointment struck Smokey Robinson and the Miracles in 1957. Rejected by Brunswick Records, their dreams seemed shattered, yet fate intervened. A chance meeting with Barry Gordy, a man with an ear for talent, changed everything. Gordy recognized the unique sound of Smokey's voice and the power of their music. Unlike others who saw only failure, Gordy envisioned possibilities. This encounter propelled Gordy to take the miracles under his wing and become their guide in the music industry. Smokey, a young man with big dreams, had grappled with uncertainty. He even pursued electrical engineering in college. However, music's irresistible allure drew him back to the stage where he truly belonged. One of Motown's first signings, The Miracles, played a pivotal role in shaping the label's sound. Their harmonies and infectious energy infused the label with a soul that resonated with a generation. After a brief college stint, Smokey and The Miracles released their debut album, embarking on a musical journey that became a solace for him. In the 1960s, amidst a cultural revolution, Smokey Robinson and The Miracles crafted timeless melodies. They achieved Motown's first million-selling hits and dominated the airwaves for a decade. Their music, infused with whispers of sadness and longing, resonated deeply. However, the rise of other prominent songwriters at Motown overshadowed Robinson. His once dominant position faded as raw and unfiltered emotions became the new focus. While artists like Marvin Gaye and Stevie Wonder received more attention, Robinson's creativity flourished. His melancholic touch enriched the music of others. He collaborated with the Four Tops, the Supremes, and his fellow Miracles. Together, they created a powerful musical tapestry reflecting life's complexities. Smokey Robinson, a life in melody, 
Smokey Robinson's life unfolded like a complex musical composition filled with soaring highs and melancholic lows, family, and early struggles. In 1959, Smokey's life seemed to reach a harmonious note with the birth of his children and marriage to Claudette. However, beneath the surface, cracks began to appear. The demands of his career and personal struggles strained their relationship, leading to a painful separation, love, and loss. Smokey was drawn to other women, seeking solace, including a passionate but short-lived affair with Diana Ross. Despite the intensity, their love couldn't overcome Claudette's trust. This infidelity echoed throughout their lives, even inspiring the song, The Agony and the Ecstasy, Finding Peace. Smokey continued to affectionately love Claudette, but the birth of a son from another relationship in 1984 shattered their marriage in 1986. This heartbreak fueled his introspective music at that time. Eventually, Smokey found peace and remarried Frances Gladney in 2002, a fading spotlight. By 1969, the relentless touring and emotional toll of songs like Tears of a Clown took their toll. Smokey longed for a quieter life with his family, a yearning that contrasted with the demands of fame. He felt disconnected from the music industry and wanted to step off the stage. Rekindled Flame As Smokey contemplated retirement, his creative spark seemed to dwindle. Albums released during this period failed to capture the magic of his earlier work. However, a reconnection with his old friend and musical partner, Marv Tarplin, reignited his passion. A simple melody strummed on a guitar sparked a creative inferno, leading to the classic hit Cruisin'. Cruising through despair, Cruisin' resonated with a deep heartache that resonated with millions. This song was more than just music. It was a triumphant cry of artistic revival born from despair. Smokey followed this success with Let Me Be The Clock, another emotional ballad that solidified his ability to create timeless melodies. Smokey Robinson's life story is a testament to the enduring power of music. Through his triumphs and tribulations, he has continued to craft songs that touch the soul. In 1972, Smokey Robinson, the heart and soul of the miracles, said goodbye to the group on a Washington, D.C. stage. The bittersweet farewell marked the end of an era for Motown's golden act. A year of reflection followed, but Smokey didn't stay silent for long. In 1973, he returned with a solo album, a melancholic reminder of the miracles' past glory. However, his initial solo efforts struggled to find traction amidst the changing music scene. While contemporaries like Marvin Gaye and Stevie Wonder soared, Smokey's music seemed to fade. Undeterred, Smokey released Quiet Storm in 1975, an album that explored his inner struggles. Songs like Baby That's Back at One addressed social issues and resonated with a specific radio format. Although solo success initially eluded him, Smokey's influence on the music industry continued. His commitment to music never wavered. He kept singing, composing, and leaving his mark on the world. Fellow musicians recognized his enduring talent. George Harrison honored him with a song, and even the Beatles paid tribute by covering You've Got a Hold On Me. Finally, in 1981, Smokey achieved chart-topping success with the romantic ballad Being With You. This song became his biggest hit, reaching number one on multiple charts. He continued collaborating with other artists like George Tobin and Rick James, showcasing his versatility. A triumphant comeback arrived in 1987 with the album One Heartbeat. The singles Just To See Her and One Heartbeat became major hits, earning him his first Grammy Award. This success solidified Smokey Robinson's legacy as a solo artist, culminating in his induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1988. Smokey Robinson's career is a story of highs and lows. He achieved success with The Miracles, and then as a solo artist, but faced setbacks too. There was controversy when he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but not The Miracles. Despite challenges, he kept making music and recently announced a new album. Smokey Robinson himself seems to be doing well. At 82, he credits his daily workout routine for keeping him mobile and feeling young. Though he was scared with COVID-19 in 2020, he recovered and continues to be active in his music career. If you enjoyed this journey, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more dives into the lives of musical legends. We'll see you next time.